going to show you how to transfer a website from a server um, using maybe cPanel uh, to a local machine. And in this case, I'm using MAMP for uh, Macs. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we have our cPanel uh, set up. So let's go ahead and log into my cPanel account for uh, this site. And now we also want to get MAMP started. So let's go ahead and open up MAMP. It's already installed. Uh, the install process is relatively simple. You want to click Start Servers. And you'll see the first thing that opens up is the MAMP page. Now you can see that it's on port um, like 8888. You can see the reason why is because under Preferences, you go to Ports, you can see this. Now if you don't want there to be the 8888 and you want it just to say localhost you can change it to port 80 and you'll accomplish that um, but I don't recommend it uh, because it may cause conflicts with other things that are on your Mac already anyway that's all we have to do with MAMP uh, for right now with actually the software all the other stuff is going to be uh, making things work we're going to keep this page open because we're going to need access to the databases later Let's just get open to uh, the MAMP directory. Now I have a bunch of sites that I previously have been working on, but now we want to build one and we're going to transfer this site in here. So we want to make a folder called Montrose in this case. Now let's go over to our finder. Um, I have the folder already in here um, because I use them a lot. But in this case, uh, for the average computer, we want to go over to applications we want to find uh, MAMP, which is uh, going to be somewhere in here. Go ahead and double click that. Look for htdocs. You can see in htdocs, we have a bunch of various uh, sites and folders all right in here. So we want to create our new folder. Go ahead and create a folder. And we're going to call this Montrose. Now if I refresh this, you can see that Montrose now appears. We can go to slash Montrose, and this is going to be our site. Now let's go ahead and figure out how we can edit code within um, this Montrose. Now I already have local, a local system in here, but let's go ahead and make a new site for our local Montrose site. So we're going to call this Montrose Local, and we want to make our new local route. Now we can go ahead and go to the set. Now um, uh, just to go through the process again, we want to click on Applications, click on MAMP, HTDocs, and our new folder is called Montrose. I'm going to go ahead and select that. You can make sure that it looks perfect. It does. Save it. And at the bottom, you should see that we have a new site in here. Now to test it, we can always make a little uh, index page and let's go ahead and call this index.html. We're going to call this hello map. Okay, hit save. Go back over here. You can see that I am editing the code. Awesome. Now we have everything installed um, with map. We're good to go. And now it's the time where we need to transfer from cPanel on over. Now this is where it takes a little bit of time. The first thing to do will be to actually download the files. And you can, of course, use an FTP client. Uh, the reason why I want to use cPanel for this is because we can actually zip up the files. Um, I also like to use SSH, but that's a bit harder to do uh, for maybe a beginner level. So let's go ahead and go to our root directory on, in cPanel. We're going to go over to a public HTML, and we're going to zip this up. Let's go ahead and zip archive it and we can we can save it as uh, Montrose site go ahead and compress that now it takes a, a little little while um, to to compress so while that's happening um, let's go ahead and go over to map and we're gonna go over to PHP my admin now, in PHPMyAdmin, this is where all your databases are for MySQL. 
Now, theoretically, you can also use command line for this as well, uh, but for what we're doing, we don't need to. Now, we need to create a database. Now, there's no like WYSIWYG like uh, cPanel has, so it's a little bit harder, but so to type in a database name, it can be whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna call it Matros. I'm gonna go ahead and create it, and that's really all we have to do for the time being. Let's go ahead and check our file manager, and we can just check to make sure this is all okay. You can see our site is downloaded. It's relatively small. So let's go ahead and download it. I simply right-clicked and then we're gonna download it. So I'm gonna take a few minutes. So while that downloads, uh, we are now gonna go over back to cPanel. We wanna go over to our databases. So let's do a phpMyAdmin. And it's open up in the server. And we can check our databases, of course, right here. This is the database to our site. Now, if you don't know the database of your site, you maybe have a lot of them in your cPanel, um, you can always just go over within here. You can check your WP config, you know, viewing this, and you can check the database name. So right here, I have the database name, database user. Um, and so we want to copy this database from our PHP my admin. So let's go ahead and we know this is the right database. We want to export it. You can just use the quick. You can also use the custom. Maybe if you have a really large database, you sometimes want to do one table at a time. Um, but for this particular case, we're going to use just the quick export. I'm going to go ahead and hit go. We're going to download this. Now that SQL's pretty quick because it's uh, relatively small compared to the files. So uh, while these con this continues to download, we're going to go back over to our local host, phpMyAdmin. Now we just created our Montrose. So we, we can now go ahead and click our database right over here. And you can see there's no tables found, and that's okay because we need to import them. Now we're gonna import this. Gonna hit OK. We're gonna select the database from my downloads folder. Gonna simply open this and hit go. Alright, cool. So there's been a bunch of files executed. Now we can go ahead and go and check this. You can see that all these files have been transferred, all these tables have been transferred, and we're good to go. Um, so uh, for the time being I'm going to uh, pause this uh, and then I'm going to come back as soon as these are done downloading.